हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल प्रोग्रामिंग विद द पर्पस दिस इज़ द लेसन सिक्स इन द बिगनर सीरीज ऑफ लर्निंग आई डेवलपमेंट हियर वी आर क्रिएटिंग अ प्लेग्राउंड फाइल फॉर लर्निंग इनम्स क्लासेस एंड स्ट्रक्ट्स दिस लेसन इज सोली फोकसिंग ऑन इनम्स फॉर अदर क्लासेस एंड स्ट्रक्ट्स वी विल डेफिनेटली कंटिन्यू इट इन द नेक्स्ट लेसन सो वट आर इनम्स इनम्स आर बेसिकली कॉमन टाइप्स और आर कस्टम टाइप्स फॉर अ ग्रूप ऑफ related values which are used frequently across our app or our project so we create enums for them which are more readable and more understandable so here we are creating an enumeration with the name directions and we are, have given it four cases unlike objective c and c you do not need to specify the value of each of the case it will be inferred from the Uh, type usually it is converted into an int value while storing it inside your app or your project so here i have created a variable with the name my direction and it is set as directions dot north and if you want to specify it with just dot north you have to specify the type which is directions after that you will be able to print it now here i am showing you how we can do the switch inside an enumeration so here i am using my variable name which is my direction after that i will specify all of the cases that are present inside an enumeration if you do not specify all the cases it is going to give you an error that the switch statement is not exhaustive so this is i am modifying the values and the body of each of the case now once it's done you can see that moving north is printed since we have assigned the value of dot north to my direction uh you can also specify default value as well for a switch statement for one case or for any number of cases now here i am printing directions dot all cases which is required to iterate over an enum but it will give me an error because the directions enum is not extending case iterable here i am fixing it and you can see that the all of the cases and their count is printed after that we can iterate over an enum and print all of its cases values so here it has printed all of the cases names so this is how we can iterate over an enumeration after that we are going to discuss associated values which is basically a kind of a tuple that we can add to a an enum and that can be passed any type of value so here i am creating an enum with the name ranking and it has two cases it can either be a gpa or can be a grade which is of type string so here when we are specifying the ranking we are going to pass the value and it is going to interpret that which of the case it belongs to so here it is 2.9 so it is a gpa and after that you can pass it as a grade of a string which is here i am passing a so this is how we can mention the enums with associated values so how we are going to write a switch statement for such an enum is mentioned here so we have to specify the gpa after that we have to assign a certain value to the type that we have mentioned inside an enum and we can get its value inside our case so this is how we are going to specify these two cases and print the relevant values so you can see here once we do the switch statement the gpa is 2.9 as basically printed and if we switch the ranking grade variable it is going to print a so here we are creating another enum cuisine type which which is basically of type string so you can specify the actual primitive type for an enum for all of its cases so here i am setting the actual values that i want to store for each of the case so chinese italian thai and pakistani and their relevant strings are stored inside each of the cases you can see that when we are going to basically pass the cuisine type and we are going to print it it is going to print the relevant string so we can also print the actual string by getting the dot raw value so here it is a string but if it's an int that int will be printed which i am going to show you here so first i am removing all of the values for each of the case and when i am going to print it the dot raw value it will give us the same result as storing an actual string inside a case so here you can see that the food pakistani is printed which is the 
raw value that is being assigned to each of the cases inside an enum that extends type string. So after that I am going to move it to int type and when I am going to print it now it has printed the value 3 because it is starting from the value 0. But if I assign a certain type like Chinese to 1 it is going to print 4 because it is going to start the indexing with 1. So this is how the value assignment works if we assign a certain type to an enum or otherwise. So let's discuss about the recursive enumerations here. So here I have written an enumeration with a keyword indirect. It means that it will be a recursive enumeration. Here there are two cases. One is case empty otherwise in another node with a value int and the next is basically a linked list. So this is basically an enumeration that shows you how a linked list can be stored inside an enum. So when I am going to populate the list, you can see that I am entering value and in the next I am adding another node with dot node. And if the next is empty, I am going to specify it as dot empty. Now I am writing a function to recursively print each of the node. So this is done basically using the case let dot node value next, which is basically just like an associated value. The first case is dot empty and we, we are printing the value and calling this print list link list function again with a basically a list with the value that is basically the next node. Here I am updating the line number 81 from return to actually printing a statement here with no item left in the list because when it's empty it will either be em empty in the start or it has iterated to the last element. So you can see that the values are printed as 1, 2 and 3 and no item left in the list. So this is how it gets printed when we call this function print link list. So this is how a recursive link list work inside an enumeration. So here the indirect word is basically attached to enum. You can also remove it and add it on line number 73 with a case that uses that link list as a recursive link. So the same value you will receive here. So this is all for lesson number six. I hope you have learned something from it. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned to this series. Thanks again for watching.